Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? It's your buddy Pokemon Mike, bringing more battles from the festive feud this past weekend. You guys know my team there. My beginning, my, my, my first set of Pokemon that I set out there is Talonflame and Meowstic on either end with Gardevoir in the middle. Now, we're going up against a team of Virizion, Latias, T-Flame, T-Tart, Togekiss, and uh, Blaziken. Now it's tough to tell which of the three is going to be Mega, and I knew it wouldn't be T-Tar, so I was like, do you go for Mega Latias or do you go Blaziken? And it depends on which kind of Blaziken you currently have. Is it, bl uh, is it Blaze or is it Speed Boost? This Mega is Speed Boost. And either way, uh, it will go first turn Protect for the Speed Boost. So, uh, yeah. I looked at this team and I said there's too many multiple weaknesses to Ice, to Water, to Fairy, to Psychic. Uh, you know, that's that's kind of how it rolled. Let's go ahead and check this battle out. And again, the lead is going to be uh, Talonflame, somebody in the middle, and uh, Meowstic. <clears throat> there we go. That's Guidevoir in a Moon Ball. Uh, Togekiss, Titar, and Blaziken. Okay, so it is Blaze. When I saw that, I knew it would be Mega. So I didn't have to worry about Latias so bad. The only thing that sucks about this is that the sand is kicked up, right? So five of us are going to be get, taking damage at the end of the turn. And the only reason why I said that it, that it kind of sucks is because it's going to take a while to, you know, after, was it like after Leftovers Recovery or before Leftovers Recovery when the sand hits, it's like, okay, hits one, see damage. Hits two, see damage. Like that. <clears throat> so... I'm gonna go, he, they go for Protect, I knew it, so I decided to fake out the T-Tar on the first turn. There's no point in wasting a fake out if you can avoid it. I went for Protect because I didn't know if he was gonna go for uh, uh, Stone Edge. But faking out that Tyranitar makes it possible for me to set up the Tailwind. And that's huge. So after all the priority moves are done, we get to see what Togekiss does. And that's Safeguard. And I'm not sure, you know, what you could think I was going to do, but if I'd been keen to doing status inflictions, yeah, I would have been in trouble. Unless I'd have already gotten you first. So Meow6 buffeted by Sandstorm. Everybody's getting buffeted by the Sandstorm. I think it goes in the order of the, the speed on my side of the field, right? There's Blaziken. Togekiss is getting hit. Blah, blah, blah. Leftovers recovery. Yeah, it takes a bit to do that, doesn't it? Because the only thing I found really annoying about Sand Teams is how long it takes to take damage from it. I was like, man, I should have just had a Sand Team so it wouldn't happen. Ah, whatever. But I am able to take care of the weather with my Politone. And that's going to come in later on. They're going to withdraw Blaziken because I'm not really sure why. But they bring in their own T-Flame. And this is one of those things where I found out that, see where, where Talonflame is there? He, our Talonflames can attack each other across the entire field. Didn't know that. I wanted to charm, <clears throat> but they protected first turn. I go for the Hyper Voice. Uh, how much damage am I going to do? Togekiss is the only one that's going to take a, a lot of damage, but it turns out T-Flame took a, a fair amount as well. Togekiss goes for Dazzling Gleam. I'm specially defensive invested, so you can see the difference uh, in that. I'm going to do damage with the Roat Berry. It did a lot more for some reason. I feel like it did more than, than, than it would if they are at full health. Uh, here comes Sandstorm damage. Awesome sauce. I should keep track of how long, how much time was wasted taking damage from Sandstorm. That'd be kind of awesome. Uh, Togekiss is finally taking damage. Leftover recovery. And I gotta make a decision. What am I gonna do? I stick around with Gardevoir because that Brave Bird is a thing. It might be max attack. And I don't want to take too much damage. So I gotta see what he's gonna do. I go for the Protect. Now, this is one of those things where I should have gone for uh, Quick Guard. Uh, or I could have gone for Quick Guard, right? Is this the turn? Uh, I get rid of the Togekiss. Nice and powerful stab. A little bit of damage. I think it's the next one. Uh, I gotta weaken uh, those two guys. That's it. T Flame and uh, T Tar. So. Uh, yeah, I figured he was going to keep attacking Gardevoir, and I forgot that my own guy has, uh, what's it called, has, uh, uh, Quick Guard. And it's, it's one thing you can't keep forgetting. So here comes more Sandstorm damage. Awesome. Okay, thanks. Bye. Here's Leftovers Recovery. And who are you going to send out? 
Is it Verizian? Blaziken. Going back out to Blaziken. First turn protect over there. And I think I'm gonna. I think this is where I make that mistake, right? The, the Brave Bird mistake. I wanted to attack that Poly. or the, the Blaziken. But I know all of his guys are weak to uh, Surf here. So now we can stop taking damage at the end of each turn. And one thing I know that I can do is is I can uh, line up the protects and spam surf. But he's got two protects going off. I'm like, oh, you have got to be kidding me. And then here's, yeah, this is it. I go for charm on his guy. I mean, this is huge. Being able to uh, lower the attack on that talon flame is great, but this is where I found out that you can attack all the way across the field. Totally didn't know that. A lot of things I didn't know about triple battles. And it didn't do... You know, it wasn't necessary. <laughs> like the, the 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 charm attack drop because I was, I was pretty much on the last leg anyway. Uh, no tailwind anymore, and that sucks because of that speed boost. But I'm gonna do whatever I can right here. Um, what is, is this the one with the high jump kicks? Yeah, the high jump kicks were incredible. It was the one high jump kick that really got me. Um, again, I forget about using quick guard. Here comes, uh, I gotta protect. I gotta see who's gonna attack who. Is the Brave Bird coming this way? Uh, I wanna make sure that I can, like, that I can surf, if anything else. So I'm gonna weaken all of his physical attackers that, that Meowstic can reach. It's gotta be the thing. Alright. High jump kick. Landed it. Look at that. Wow. It did so much. I was gonna surf right there. Uh, no more safeguard, okie dokie. Uh, here comes Bulkarona. And since the rain is up, this is going to be a lot more tough. Uh, Rage Powder was was a great big help right here. Uh, the Brave Bird's coming this way. He's been weakened two stages, I think two stages already. And I know that I, I can weaken him, I can weaken the Verizian. Now, I've got that Rocky Helmet damage, so I'm always, like, the three physical attackers are always going to be taking damage. That's the thing. Uh, so next is going to be uh, uh, Blaziken, because he's faster, after the charm. Who do I go for? The Verizian is next, because that thing's still strong, too. Uh, here comes the high jump kick, and I avoid it. So he takes his damage. Gardevoir is free to be able to use Psychic whenever. Because I know that that one is a bigger threat to me right now than the Verizian is. Because it's so fast, and because uh, because it's probably wicked strong, right? When it's a when it's a Mega, I know it's it's super strong. Here's a Sword Stance. Okay, so he just basically neutralized uh, the Charm. Let's go ahead and Charm him again. Uh, Gardevoir should be faster than Titar if it's not Scarftar. It sucks that he put the Sand back up again. K okay, thanks. And it, none of these guys have a spread move. They're physical attackers. Did they? Yeah, one special attacker? Two special attackers. Uh, Roost, a little bit of a hassle here, right? Can't fight it, but you just gotta, you know, work with it. Uh, here comes the charm. <clears throat> Dropping the attack that he got. Here's the hyper voice. It will just destroy the HP bar on Verizian. Uh, I thought Verizian had better special defenses. Uh, it's probably uninvested in that. Here comes that Stone Edge. Like, wow. Wow, you landed that. At least I know that I can uh, I can land the Hyper Voice and finish him off. Like, that's the thing. Like, that 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 T-Tar uh, doesn't have very much left when it comes to the HP. So I can go ahead and use Hyper Voice and take care of it. Um, here's, there's a, there's a Latias. Not Mega, which is even better. And here comes Bisharp. Brave Bird. I, again, I forget about that. Like, I'm not really paying attention to it. But it is weak in, like, three stages. So, I'm able to really hold on pretty well. Uh, Meow 6 Light Screen goes up because... Uh, that thing packs Thunderbolt, the T-Tar, and uh, that is a special attacker. Bisharp goes for Sucker Punch, but fails. I was going to Sucker Punch the the uh, the Talonflame. Thing is, it uh, Talonflame though prior though because it's priority on priority. That's why it doesn't work. So I should have just gone for uh, knockoff or anything else instead. Uh, any other attacking move would have been great. 
Uh, Sandstorm does its damage. Leftovers recovery is coming up. And I think so is the end of this battle. It was a forfeit. So that was that was one of the other battles. And yeah, you know, weather in triples battles makes a big difference. You know, it's it's huge being able to not only control the weather, but have it working in your favor. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy the series, remember to give a thumbs up rating in the comment section. Uh, what were you again? What were what kind of teams did you run with for the festive feud? Also, what were some of the teams that uh, that you went up against that were really difficult? Like that kind of thing. Uh, let's see. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when new videos get put up. And as always, do something awesome today. I'll catch you on the next one.